Hey everyone, Britton here, also known as Smokey Dude, and today I'm going to be re reviewing a new book, and it is Blacktop Wasteland from S.A. Cosby. Uh, this is my next stop in my uh, Black History Month thing, books, stuff you should go check out that's that I think would be appropriate for Black History Month. And uh, the book I decided to check out today was uh, Blacktop Wasteland. Uh, I really enjoyed this book. I thought it was a lot of fun. Maybe not a lot of fun, but it's got a lot of stuff that I really enjoy. It's got muscle cars from the 70s, complicated, deeply flawed characters who are torn between two lives that they desperately want, but they don't really know how to make a compromise. Uh, it's got a lot of great action sequences and chase sequences that are very well written in this book. And S.A. Cosby uh, has, a, has a talent for getting into the head of his characters and creating very sympathetic and human characters, even though these people are uh, shaky on the moral scale. Uh, this book is partly a heist novel. It's about a getaway driver by the name of Bug. Um, it's also a character study of, of Bug. And it's also a story about a man uh, dealing with the sins of the father, which are now being paid upon the son. Uh, and not really in the literal way, but more in a, uh, a sig more in the cyclical nature of, of crime. And it really explores that. And as you know, I, I love noir. I love crime books. And um, I really enjoyed uh, S.A. Cosby's Blacktop Wasteland. Um, uh, I mean, what did I like about it? I thought this book was really well done. A lot of uh, great prose which is not too difficult to read. Uh, it's very just to the point, uh, not too difficult to get behind, and it's uh, very well written for that matter. And the characters are very likable, very engaging. Uh, you want to see what happens to them next. Even the slimier characters in the story have, have some depth to them, which I appreciate because I like books where the characters aren't so cut and dry, that there is some complexity there. But um, really the main focus is of Bug, who's a getaway driver who is trying to raise his family. And he's trying to make a life for himself after having a life of crime that has... Um, he's, he's, he's honest now, but he ends up getting a one more job. It's one of those one more job kind of plots. And of course, it goes to hell pretty quickly. Um, and he also has to deal with, the, uh, deal with the angst of dealing with his father who basically disappeared. And that's not a, that's not a spoiler that's explained on the back here. Um, and I really like how the book explores that theme of, of the cyclical nature of crime. And basically how Cosby explores that B Bug is trying to... <sighs> trying to make up for his father I suppose he's trying to kind of gain his father's approval uh, even though his father is long gone and um, it's really sad and he tries to be a good father to his two sons and of course he's getting himself involved in crime again again not a spoiler it's explained right here um, but I really enjoyed it I think Cosby did a very good job of exploring that part of the story um, there are his influences are very clear. Uh, that's that's for sure. He has a little Mosley there, little Joe R. Lansdale over here, and even a little bit of Lahane. And if I remember right, oh, there it is. Uh, there is Dennis Lahane, blurb right there. So it's not like it is completely on purpose. And also, um, Walter Mosley is uh, is um, is also blurbed on here somewhere. Let me find it. Uh, there he is. Yep, yeah. uh, right there. So it's not completely. Uh, so it's not completely. Um, uh, uh, what's the word? It's not completely unintentional. But he doesn't feel like he's doing a a just copy of their style. He's doing it in his style. He does it with his own voice, which I appreciate. Kind of, you know how you know Neil Gaiman had followed up uh, Alan Moore's stuff in comics when he made The Sandman instead of something like Watchmen. He didn't just make Watchmen Part 2, 
uh, but he took the lessons from Ellen Moore and made it into his own. And uh, I would say that's what S.A. Cosby does with this book, is that he takes the lessons from these great crime writers and he ends up making it his own because um, S.A. Cosby has proven himself to be a very talented writer and he is a writer who I want to see more of. The story in this is pretty simple. Uh, you know the story, guy is stepped away from being a criminal and he gets under some hard times and he gets into trouble and he's offered another job and you can probably guess what happens next. But Cosby tells the story in such a way, excuse me, let me get a drink. Mm. Cosby tells the story in such a way where it feels fresh. Well, maybe not fresh, but he tells it very well. And he gives a he gives a angle to the story that is not usually depicted in these types of stories. Like for instance, I really liked the angst about his father having disappeared and just the idea that Bug never knew what happened to him and it just it haunts him. It haunts him throughout the story. I would even say that this book is is very haunted on its own and he has to struggle with that throughout the story and he's attempting to be a good father to his own sons like I mentioned earlier but he keeps getting involved in crime so I mean how can you be a good role model when you keep compromising your morality like that and this book does a really good job of exploring that aspect of crime and um, it's not exactly a crime doesn't pay but it does uh, it does go into that territory from time to time and the story is very well done uh, nicely paced um, some might say predictable in some ways. You might get the idea of where it goes, you know, job, one last job goes to hell naturally, but the way it's done is really quite interesting, and I really enjoyed how Cosby did it. Particularly the last, like, half of this book is fantastic. I mean, probably one of the best, like, not endings, but, like, one of the best, like, climaxes I've seen in a book as of recently. Maybe aside from, like, Perdido Street Station. The climax of that book is amazing as well. But, you know, I, I already did a review on that, so I won't get into that here. But the climax in this book is also fantastic. It is action-packed, fast-paced, suspenseful, intense, and even heartbreaking at times. But, um... Really, it shows just how dangerous this guy can be, and uh, that's all I'll really say about that. But I really loved the last part of this book. I thought it was really good. And S.A. Cosby is really skilled at, again, really getting you into the mind of these characters and making you feel sorry for them. I even like the side characters. Uh, there's one, I forget his name, but he's an old friend of Bug. Well, not really friend. He kind of fucked him over one time. But Bug is uh, not too fond of the guy, but he agrees to do a job with him, and even he, even though he's kind of like a white trash scumbag, he, even he has his dimensions. He has a brother who's kind of slow, and you really feel for the guy, you know? He, he really is, like, he's, he's, he is sympathetic. He does have his moments where he's human, where he, you feel bad for him, even though he's kind of a weasel throughout the story. And, um, Bug particularly was a really interesting character. I really liked his, um, his struggle between wanting to be a family man and wanting to be a criminal. Because he, as much as he doesn't like to admit it, he really does miss the outlaw, uh, lifestyle. Even though his wife's like, oh no, don't get involved. And he's just like, I can't help it. It's in my nature. And, you know, you get the old, that, that whole thing. But really, it, it almost, it's almost like he feels like it's destiny. I really enjoy it. There's a passage in here where he talks about he feels like the path he's, he's gone on is almost like destiny because his father did it, and now he does it. And now he's just kind of on his own now. And he's doing, um, he's trying to do the best he can for his family. You feel bad for him on that, uh, on that case, and... Um, he also has a cousin named Kelvin who's really cool, and, you know, he's a fun dude, and, uh, I won't really say too much about what happens with him, but, um, yeah, Bug is interesting because his arc in the story is him 
accepting that he can't have both lives. And again, I don't want to spoil that. That might be an indirect spoiler, but um, I really like those types of stories where characters struggle with that. Anyway, um, there's not really much else I could say more about this book. It's a lean, tight book. Uh, very good modern noir. If you really enjoy crime stories, I bet you'll get a kick out of this. And S.A. Cosby, I will definitely check out more of his work in the future. Um, he's definitely one who has captured my attention. So I do have Razor Blade Tears over here. And I am considering reading that soon. But um, I haven't done it yet. So yeah, uh, Blacktop Wasteland check it out it's a great book and i hope you guys enjoyed this book or er, damn it <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video um please like and subscribe share it with your friends i have a twitter i have a goodreads i have a letterbox i even have a discord if you want to talk to me hang out with me it's a little dead over there so like you know please talk to me i i, I like talking with my fans but um, anyway, so yeah, this has been my review of uh, Blacktop Wasteland. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care.